So I'm in Epping Forest. I'm going to go and have a look at Loughton Camp. And this is following on from the trip I did the other week to Ware in Hertfordshire with Dave Binns and Gary from the Bermondsey Joyriders. And we looked at a burial mound there. So I've become intrigued by this kind of uh, chain of prehistoric sites that run through Epping Forest and up the Lee Valley. So I've followed some red arrows from the main path. You can see a red smiley face in the tree in front. There's a large crow over there that didn't move. But now this starts to look a lot more like the kind of uh, ditch works and defensive works. As you see there's a high bank on the far side there. So this could be it. And as soon as I came off the path, it instantly felt different. It's got a power, this site. I suppose that could be the power of the landscape. Or is that the power of two and a half thousand years of human interaction? Yeah, look. You can see clear defensive workings here. And um, I'm actually not going to give myself too much credit because I followed some red arrows. And then over there you can see there's an information board. You've got this steep bank here. This is an information board that we use as animal pens when there was times of attack. People would retreat here, so it's assumed they didn't live here. So I suppose you can see how high this bank is here. And then there's the drop, steep drop. And these trees are beech trees. There must certainly be some oak as well. I suppose the thing as well with beech trees is nothing really grows underneath them because they block the light out. So anything you really get under beech is holly. So you get that kind of canopy over a clear space. And I suppose the, the power of coming out from Leightonstone on the tube and then find yourself here, no more than an hour from home, is it gives you a sense of continuity you know, that the people were here on this very spot two and a half thousand years ago at least. And it kind of links our world to theirs, our city to their terrain. It's a very powerful feeling. It's like time travel. And just look at that, looking across there. He's like looking back into the Iron Age and beyond. Get a sense of the height of these banks here. They're higher than I am tall. They must be a good, I don't know, it must be at least six or eight feet tall. They're roughly the same height as the burial mound in Ware, actually. And I wonder if they're part of the same civilization, the same people who built that mound at Ware 
also built this camp, maybe members of the same tribe, the same ideas about the world, the same beliefs maybe. Wow, and this is a really high point here. Looking back down into the camp. And this is the high point of the mound. So this is the other edge of Loughton Camp. It's different to where I came before. You can see a steep bank that runs all the way along there. This huge area here is all part of the camp as well. This steep climb at the southern edge down there. It's a huge area. It's vast, isn't it? So majestic, so powerful. So just off the path here, Amesbury Banks, these trees stand like sentinels. It's very imposing, emerging from the forest floor. This is the deep ditch leading to the outer bank. Look, it's very steep. Go down here. Is quite an impressive fortification. So let's climb up the bank. Oh, wow. I'm down here in Amesbury Banks, the outer bank behind me, and here you see that's the interior of the camp. It's majestic, is it? This, in some ways, when you hit it from the path, is more imposing than uh, than Loughton Camp, where I was earlier. Where the trees rise out of the soil, stand tall into the air like sentinels. In a way. When you look at the origins of why we live together in communities and in cities, it comes to a place like this. This is kind of one of the places we can see it originating from. People come together to build these great earthworks for safety and security. It's impressive. This is looking back into the camp from the far side. On either side you can hear the road. But somehow the 21st century is kept at bay. to where in Hertfordshire, just north of London, 
with uh, Dave Binns and Gary from the Bermondsey Joyriders. And Dave's come to show us this, this mound, which is an Iron Age burial mound. It's sat in the middle of this housing estate. 